basically I got this juicer about three weeks ago um, from Walmart for $30. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on it, so be prepared for that. Um, I'll tell you more about it and how I kind of use it and stuff. So, yeah, let's get started in the vegetables over here. I have some spinach. Spinach, you know, people say not to put spinach because it doesn't have a lot of juice in it. But I have to admit that if you do spinach and then you do like a cucumber, it will flush out all the spinach from the teeth of the juicer. So I recommend when you do do spinach, do it like that. Um, next, do when you do kale, you have to do the same thing too because it will get stuck in the juicer, in the teeth of the blades in the juicer. So you have to make sure that you, you, you either use a cucumber, any kind of fruit, carrots would be good, limes. I used apples last night um, to get all that stuff out of there. Um, and now what else I use is Carrots, this big bag of carrots. Oh my gosh, I love carrot juice. I love that it, um, what it tastes like when it's mixed with all the vegetables and all the other fruits. Um, so I have to recommend, guys, if you guys don't like vegetables, juice because you're getting all that nutrients in your body that you need. And um, you know, I'm not a big fan. I mean, I love vegetables, but I don't eat them that often. So juicing for me is getting my vegetables in. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, or I eat a lot of fruits, but not so much vegetables, because vegetables you kind of have to cook and stuff, and then, you know, fruits, I can just cut it up and then eat it like that. I don't need to um, saute it with butter or whatever, even though that I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, I'm just saying that fruits are easier to eat than um, vegetables. So anyways, let's get back into the fruit, the juicing. So my boyfriend, he has a juicing, um, a juicing, or a juicing, an apple tree, sorry, um, in his backyard. So he got a bunch of these apples, organic apples, guys. I have to admit, they're like really good for you. Organic is really better for you than all the processed stuff that they put in everything um yeah so and then i do lemon or limes lemons or limes either one whichever one you want to do i have organic um lemons too and um and you could do limes too i like to do limes because lemons are not so uh, they're not limes are not so like tart L lemons are more tart than limes um and then i like to do pineapple oh let me move this thing. Oh, here, there. Um, pineapple. So basically, when you want to know a pineapple is right, you pull the top leaf, the middle leaf, any leaf, um, and if it pulls out without you tugging so hard, then it's right. And then plus, it starts to change color. See how it's like this yellowish color? It was originally this green color up here, and now it's more of like this yellowy color. Um, so yeah, that's how you can tell. And remember when you're cutting this, you have to make sure you get all these little eyes off so that you don't get it into the juicer. Um, I think, yeah, you do have to get all these eyes off because if they get in here, they'll get stuck in the blades and you don't want that. Um, yeah, so basically, I already showed you the cucumber, but basically, that's what all I juice with, with all the vegetables that I have, and the apples, and the fruits, and everything, that's what I juice with. started in making the juice. Now, today, I'm going to be making a apple carrot juice. So, I just got about one, two, three, four, five, six apples here, and they're organic. I got one big one, and the rest are small ones. Um... So basically what you want to do is just make sure it can fit in this hole. So just cut around the core, or if you have one of those really cool core slicing apple thingies, you could just use one of those, and then you just cut it like that. Now with this one, 
it won't fit in there so you have to make sure that you cut it again to make sure it will fit so I'm just gonna finish cutting up all these apples like this let me show you one more before I speed up the process so you just cut around the core my mom does it fancy and she just cuts the whole apple in half and then cuts the core out of the middle I don't know how to do that so I am just going to I just cut around the core and then you cut it like this now they don't have to be like tiny slices just make sure that they fit inside the hole that you have or the juicer that you have and this is a really great recipe because apples are really really good for you and carrots are really good for you I remember one time <laughs> this is kind of funny. I went to the dentist, and the dentist, I was wearing glasses at the time, and the dentist said that, um, you know, carrots are good for your eyes. And I was thinking the whole time, because I was like probably in like fourth grade, I was thinking the whole time, why would he say that if I'm at the dentist? Doesn't he, wouldn't he want to say something about my teeth? I guess not, but anyways. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that you can put the core in there. I forgot that you can do that. So you don't need to cut around the core. You just go like this, cut it. Because it will separate the, um, the seeds and the core from the juice. And you don't need to peel it. You don't need to do anything like that. Just cut it. Make sure it fits into there. And then if it doesn't, just cut it even more. That will fit. Okay, last apple and then we're going to the carrots. So I'm just going to cut it into thirds. One, there we go, three of those. And then, there. Now let's do some carrots. Some carrots. Now this one, the carrots, the top part is mainly the part that you need to cut. So if you just wanted to do this, and then do like that, and then just cut this part, you can. Or you could just cut the whole thing. I'll show you. And you don't need to cut the little stem off at the bottom because it's going in the juicer. It's just going to extract the juice from it, and it's going to separate what um, you don't want in the back of it. So it doesn't matter. So you can either cut it like that, or you can cut it like, oops, that one will just go straight in. I don't even need to cut that. Um, or you can cut it like, let's get a bigger one. This one, see how big that is? You just want to cut it in half. I can get my knife in there. There we go. I'm going. There. And then cut it again, because it's not going to fit like that. You have to cut it into thirds or to fourths, I mean, because it won't, I mean, it will. I guess it can fit in there. That'll fit, it, fit in there if you want to do it this way too. But if you have a bigger, thicker carrot, then you're going to want to cut it into fourths. So I'm just doing two carrots just to try it out. I've never tried this juice out before. So I'm just doing two carrots, six apples. I want the apple juice to be overpowering the carrots because you don't want that carroty taste to it you want the more fruit taste but you do want vegetables in your juice so that you can um so that you can get your vegetables in your vegetable intake in today so let's get started with juicing um this thing is very loud so i don't think you're going to be able to hear me when i talk but um basically when i turn it on i am when it comes to the apples you're going to want, like if they're small, if you put them in while it's on, it's going to fling out. So you're going to want to go like this, like real quick. Like turn it on and then push it in there. And then quickly, oops, sorry, quickly have the juice squirt out of it. So, and with the carrots, the carrots are easier just because they go straight through. It's simple. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you need to know about juicing. Um, I'm just going to turn on the juicer and hopefully you guys can hear me if I need to put any um, extra 
information in there, then hopefully you can hear me over the juicer. If not, I'll put subtitles. So let's get started on juice. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. It is something that I have been loving to drink for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or all the three above if you want to lose weight. Um, so thanks guys for watching and always remember that cooking healthy is always delicious. Bye! Hi guys, so what you're about to watch is me getting ready for my um, little photo shoot date that I went on with my So wife. we are at the park and we took a bunch of cute pictures and I'm going to show them to you at the end of this vlog. He's over there, he's being a shy bear. <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to fall in the water with my phone in your pocket? Um, I, ju I juice with this, let me start off with this juicer, sorry, I'm like, Ugh, today.